In this example, a continuous random variable has a probability density function defined by f of x is k when x is between 0 to 1 and it is k into 4x minus 2 when x is between 1 to 2 or 0 elsewhere. You've been told to determine the value of constant k, to determine the mean, to determine the standard deviation, and to determine the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1.5, isn't it? Yes. So the first thing you do for you to determine the constant k, you know that the probability that x is between the intervals a and b is given by, you integrate from a to b of f of x dx. If this is the whole range, it must give you the whole range of a probability measure. If this is the whole range, isn't it? And our range A to B, you can see, it is from 0 and it is ending at 2. Are you seeing that? Yes. Our whole range A to B is from 0 and it is ending at? At 2. Are we together? So if you start, it means it has two parts, isn't it? So the first part, the first part, it is from 0 to 1, isn't it? So from 0 to 1, what is f of x from 0 to 1? k. k is a constant, you factor a sound sign, you remain with the dx there. f of x dx, isn't it? Are we together? Then plus, when you now have the range from 1 to 2, what is our f of x? k into 4x minus 2. So if you factorize k outside, inside, you remain with 4x minus so bx should give you the whole range of probability measure. So our range from a to b is from 0 to 2. But from 0 to 2 have different definitions of k. So you have to separate them in Are we together? Yes. So start with the first one here. We have k. If you integrate this, dx, you get? You get x, isn't it? Because here it's like you have x raised to power 0. So if you integrate, you get x raised to power 1, isn't it? Yes. Then the interval is from 0 to? 0 to 1, then you have plus k into, if you integrate 4x, you get 4x squared over 2, isn't it? Then minus, if you integrate 2, you get 2x. Then the limit is from 1 to 1 to 2, to be equal to 1. So start, substitute the value here in the first part. When x is 1, so you'll have 1 minus 0. When x is 1, you get 1. When x is 0, you get 0, isn't it? Yeah. Then here, plus k, start the upper limit. When x is 2, put 2 where x is and give me the upper limit. You get 4. 4. So the upper limit is 4 minus. When x is 1, put 1 where x is. You get 0. To be equal to? The whole range of probability measure 1, isn't it? Yes. Right, so start. 1 minus 0 is? Yes. Is 1. Times k? Yes. K. Then 4 minus 0 is? 4. Times k? 4k. To be equal to 1. What? 1, isn't it? Right, so move k plus 4k is? Yes. 5k is equal to 1. So what is k? 1 over 5. You divide both sides of the equation by 5. So you get k is 1 over 5. So it means our constant k is 1 over 5. So in your probability density function, where there is k, you put anywhere you see k, you put 1 over 5. Are we together? So we have found the value of k. Is that okay? Good. After finding the value of k, what do they want us to get? The mean. They want us to find the mean. The mean. So we know that the mean is the? The expected value of x is the mean, isn't it? So you know the expected value of x, which is the mean, is given by what? You integrate between the limits x, f of x, dx, isn't it? Meaning expected value of x is x times f of x. Are we together? So start. These two limits are different because the values of x of x are different from different limits, isn't it? So your first year you are moving, when you integrate from 0 to 1, what is f of x? When you integrate from 0 to 1, we have x times f of x, isn't it? f of x is 1 over 5 dx. So you see that is x f of x, x f of x, isn't it? 
Then what is the limit of f of x from 1 to 2? So it is plus from 1 to 2, we have x, f of x. So what is f of x from 1 to 2? It is 1 over 5 into 4x minus 2, isn't it? dx. Are we together? Yes. So you start you by factorizing out the constant, isn't it? See, 1 over 5 is a constant here. When it comes out, you have 1 over 5, then we integrate it from 0 to 1 of x, d. So we'll only remain with x, dx inside if we remove 1 over 5 outside. Then here, see, 1 over 5 is a constant. When you take it out, so you get plus 1 over 5, then you integrate from 1 to 2 higher. x times 4x, 4x squared. Then x times 2, so it is minus 2x, isn't it? dx, you will simplify that. Can we now start integrating? What do we have here? 1 over 5, higher. If you integrate x, you get x squared over, over 2, isn't it? Then the limit is from 0 to 0 to 1, isn't it? Then it is plus 1 over 5. If you integrate this, we have 4. If you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3, isn't it? Then here, minus 2. If you integrate x, you get x squared over 2, isn't it? Then the limit is from 1 to 1. Are we together? Can you now start substituting the limits? Start with this first part. We have 1 over 5. When x is 1, so you get a half. Yes. Minus when x is 0, so you get 0. So you are done with this part. Then you go to the second part. We have plus 1 over 5 outside. Then when x is 2, 20 over 20 over 3. When x is 2, isn't it? Then minus when x is 1, a third. So go. A half minus 0. Times 1 over 5. 1 over. 1 over 10. Let me write it up here. I've run out of space. Or we just continue here, isn't it? 1 over. 1 over 10. Then it is plus 20 over 3 minus 1 over 3. See, we are in this. See, 1 over 5 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 10. Then it is plus, isn't it? Here you found 19 over. Even this one was the whole of it. Was 1 over 10. Then the whole of this is 19 over 3 times 1 over 5 is 19 over 15. So what do you get? 1 over 10 plus 19 over 15 into decimal 1.6 1.36 1 so you see the range of the interval of x is from 0 to 2 so the mean must be between 0 to 2 which is 1.366 it's between 0 to 2 isn't it? are we together? very very correct so the mean is 1.367 then we now go to the standard deviation, isn't it? The standard deviation. So we cannot get we cannot get the standard deviation if we don't know the variance, isn't it? And we cannot get the variance if we don't know the expected value of x of x squared, isn't it? So we must first of all get the expected value of x squared, isn't it? Which is going to be what? You integrate from a to b x squared f of x dx, isn't it? Are we together? Then you are a to b is from 0 and ending at 2, meaning it is divided into two different parts, isn't it? So the first part, it is from 0 to 0 to 1. So from 0 to 1, then x squared. Then what is your f of x from 0 to 1? From 0 to 1, your f of x is 1 over 5 dx. Then it is plus, so x squared f of x from 0 to 1, you place there, isn't it? Then from 1 to 2, what is your f of x? From 1 to 2, we have x squared f of x. What is your f of x from 1 to 2? 1 over 5. So 1 over 5 I can take outside. It's a constant. Then I put 4x minus dx, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. Right, so start. See, 1 over 5 you take outside. So you have 1 over 5. Then you are integrating from 0 to 1. 
of what? Dx, isn't it? Then here we have plus 1 over 5. Then we are integrating from 1 to 2. x squared times 4x. 4x cubed. Then it is minus x squared times 2. 2x squared. 2x squared. B? Dx. Dx. Are we together? I also start integrating. 1 over 5, so if you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3. Then your limit is from 0 to, to 1, isn't it? Then go on, plus 1 over 5. Then start integrating. If you integrate 4x cubed, x is to power 4 over 4, isn't it? Then minus 2. If you integrate x squared, you get x cubed over, over 3. Then you put your limit is from 1 to. 1 to 2. Start substituting the limit. Start with this one. You have 1 over 5 into. When x is 1, you get a third. Then minus when x is 0, you get 0. So you are done with this. Go to this one plus 1 over 5 into. When x is 2, that's 2 over 3. 32 over 3. When x is 2, you get a 2 over 3 minus. When x is 1, you get a third. I so start. 1 over 5 times 1 over 3 minus 0 is just 1 over 3, isn't it? So 1 over 3 times 1 over 5. 1 over 1 over 15, isn't it? Then it is plus. Then start with inside the bracket. 32 over 3 minus 1 over 3. It's 31 over 3, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I have 31 over 3 times 1 over 5. 31 over 15. So what do you get? 31 over 15 plus 1 over 15. 32 over 15, isn't it? So what is 32 over 15 in decimals? 2.1? 1? 2.133, isn't it? So you found the expected value of x squared to be 2.133. Are we together? So after getting the expected value of x squared, we now get the, the variance. We now get the variance. We now get the so we are in variance of x. So for you to get variance of x, it is the expected value of x squared minus the mean squared, isn't it? Minus the mean squared. So the expected value of x squared you found is 2.133. Then the mean you found to be 1.1.367. 1. 1. So it is mean squared. Are you seeing that? So it is expected value of x squared minus mean squared. You must square the mean. Are we together? Yes. So what do you have to be the variance? 0. Point? 0. 0.264? 0. 0. 0.264, isn't it? So that is the variance of variance of x. But they don't need the variance of x, they need the the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is the square root of the the square root of the variance. So what is the square root of the variance? 0 0.5 514 0 0.5144 isn't it? Then the next thing you now found the standard deviation to be 0 0.5144 The next thing they want you to get is what? The probability that x is greater than or equals to 1.5. So we found the variance. We can now use this space. Now we want the probability that x is greater than or equals to 1.5. This means that you will integrate from x greater than or equals to 1.5 if you turn it. What will you get? It means you are starting from 1.5 less than or equals to x. Are you seeing? Then you move until you reach the end. The upper limit is what? Is 2. Until you reach the end, the 2. Meaning this probability is the same as this. Are you seeing that? Meaning probability that x is equal to 1.5.
you start from 1.5 until you reach the, the, the upper limit. Are we together? Are you seeing that? When x is greater than or equal to 1.5, meaning you start from 1.5 until you reach the last, the highest value of x. Greater than, meaning until you reach the highest value of? Of x. And the highest value of x here you can see, too, meaning this is the same as this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yes. So this probability is going to be what? For you to get probability, it is the function, it is the PDF probability density function you are integrating. Yes. So we are integrating from 1.5 until we reach the highest value, because we must be greater than equal to this, until we reach the highest, which is, so you can see, 1.5 to 2, all of them is in this limit, isn't it? None of them is divided, are you see? Yeah. So the value of f of x, when we are from 1.5 to 2, is what? It's 1 over 5 into? Into 4x minus 2d, dx, because for you to get a probability, of x between a to b, it is supposed to be from a to b of f of x to dx. Are you seeing? And our a is 1.5 to 2. So when they told you to find maybe probability that x is greater than or equals to 0 0.5, here you now see 0 0.5, you see 0 0.5 to 1 is in the first limit. Are you seeing? So you are going to integrate from 0 0.5 to 1 of of f of x, which is 1 over 5 dx, then plus, then you proceed from 1 to 1.5 of f of x, which is 1 over 5 into 4x minus 2 dx. Have you seen that? Yes. Are you seeing the case when it is greater than equal to 0 0.5? Because from 0 0.5 to 1, you see f of x is 1 over 5. Are you seeing? f of x is 1 over 5. Then from 1 to your 1.5, from 1 to 1. Point, it is not 1 to 1.5, it is 1 to, to the end, 1 to 2, isn't it? Then from 1 to the end, which is 1 to 2, CF of X is this. Yes. Are we together? Is that understood? Yes. So when you are just given this case, from 1.5 to 2, it means 1.5 to 2 is F of X is only the second part only. Is that well understood? Yes. Is that okay? Good. So what do you get here? 1 over 5 into, start integrating. If you integrate 4x, you get 4x squared over, over 2, minus, if you integrate 2, you get 2x. Then you put the limits from 1.5 to, to 2, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. So start, 1 over 5 into, when x is 2, what do we get? When x is 2, 8. Yes, it is. It is 4. This is 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4, isn't it? Yes, then it is minus. When x is 1.5? When x is 1.5? Which is 1. When x is 1.5? You get 3 over 2. Which is 1 point? 1.5. So what is the answer? We have 1 over 5 into 4 minus 1.5 is 2.5. Yes. yes. So 1 over 5 times 2.5, what do you get? 0. Point? 0. 0.5. So you can see that probability. The probability must be between 1, 0 and 1, isn't it? So that probability is 0. Point? 0. 0.5. And you've actually dealt with that function accordingly.